Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about ballast in railway, functions and types. What is ballast? Railway ballast is the foundation of railway track and provide just below the sleepers. The loads from the wheels of trains ultimately come on the ballast through rails and sleepers. Ballast is a granular material which is placed and packed below and around the railway sleepers. Different types of ballast materials used are broken stone, sand, gravel, murum, brick bats etc. The main purpose of ballast is to transmit the load from sleepers to the formation, consolidated track bed, and to provide drainage facilities to the track. Functions of Ballast the functions of ballast are as follows. It provides leveled bed or support for the railway sleepers. It transfers the load from sleepers to subgrade and distributes the load uniformly on subgrade. It holds the sleepers in a firm position while the trains pass by. It prevents the longitudinal and lateral movement of sleepers. It offers good drainage to the track. Requirements of good ballast in railway Ballast used in railway track should be tough and should be wear resistant. It should not get crushed under the moving loads. Moreover the shape of ballast should be cubical having sharp edges. It should not have any chemical effect on the rails and metal sleepers. It should resist attrition and should be durable. Ballast used should be non-porous and non-absorbent of the water. It should provide good drainage of water. It should be resistant to abrasion and extreme weathering conditions. It should be locally available, cheap, and economical in price. Standard Ballast Specifications Used in Indian Railways The size of ballast used under point and crossings is 25 mm. Quality of stone ballast required per meter tangent length of broad gauge is 1.11 cubic meter and for meter gauge, it is 0.767 cubic meter. Minimum depth of ballast for broad gauge is 250 millimeters and for meter gauge it is 200 millimeters. Width of ballast for broad gauge track is 3.35 meters and for meter gauge track is 2.3 meters. Types of ballast Broken stone ballast Broken stone is a widely used ballast in railways. It is obtained by crushing hard stones like granite, hard trap quartzite etc. In lieu of broken stones, limestone and sandstone can also be used. It is suitable for high-speed railway tracks. The broken stone selected as ballast should be hard, tough and non-porous. It should stay strong against inclement weather conditions. Benefits of Broken Stone Ballast Broken stones are hard, tough and durable. Hold the sleepers in a strong position and provide stability to the track. 
suitable for heavy traffic tracks and for high-speed tracks. Economical with respect to their durability. Require less maintenance. Drawbacks of broken stone ballast. Since broken stones are not easily available, their initial cost is a little high. Produce noise when the train is moving on the track. They are sharp and angular and hence wooden sleepers may be liable to damage by these broken stones. Sand Ballast Sand can also be used as a ballast material. It is well suitable under cast iron sleepers and can be seen in desert railway tracks where plenty of sand gets accrued on the track. Coarse sand is best suitable as ballast than fine sand. Benefits of Sand Ballast It provides excellent drainage facilities to the track. Well suitable for cast iron sleepers and does not produce any noise while the train is moving on track. Cheap and abundantly available material Gravel Ballast Gravel is a naturally occurring material formed by the erosion of rocks. They are suitable for all types of sleepers and are usually rough and smooth and can be obtained from river beds, gravel pits etc. Benefits of Gravel Ballast it occurs naturally and hence is cheap and easily available. Properly cleaned gravel offers excellent drainage facilities to the track. Well packed gravel requires less maintenance and has high durability. Murum Ballast Murum is formed by the decomposition of laterite. It is available mostly in red color and, sometimes, in yellow. If the track is to be law on black cotton soil, murum can be used as a blanketing material or sub ballast since it prevents permeability of water into the subgrade or formation. Benefits of murum ballast Murum is good as a sub-ballast especially in the case of weak soil subgrades. Provides good aesthetics to the track. Coal ash or cinder ballast Coal ash also called cinder is the by-product of coal-fired power plants and railway locomotives. It can be used as a ballast material since it is cheaply available and also possesses good drainage properties. It is used as a ballast especially for station yards and as initial ballast for newly constructed tracks. Benefits of Coal Ash Ballast It is economical and abundantly available. It has excellent drainage properties. It can be handled with ease and is light in weight. Drawbacks of Coal Ash Ballast Turns into dust when subjected to loads. Makes the track dirty and complicates the maintenance procedure. It is not recommended when steel sleepers are used because of its corrosive action. The rails may also get affected by the corrosive action of coal ash. Brick Bat Ballast Brick bats are nothing but crushed pieces of bricks which are generally overburnt. Underburnt brick bats are not suitable since they are not as porous as overburnt brick bats. Benefits of brick bat ballast 
Porous brick bats have good drainage properties. Brick bats are useless products of brick industries and hence can be bought at cheap prices. Drawbacks of brick bat ballast When subjected to loads they turn into a powder which can be easily blown away by the wind. The brick dust makes the track dirty and demands frequent. Images showing ballast Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.